Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In this video I will teach you how to reprocess a feed when you're using Content API. Because Content API does not allow you to reprocess the product information uh, until it is automatically submitted by the Content API. So to speed up that process, if for example you've added a feed rule or you want to reprocess certain uh, parts of the feed, then you can use a supplement feed to do that. So in this video, I will teach you how to do that. So what we want to do first is download all our product information. We can do that by going to all products, then click on the download icon and let it prepare the file. So the larger your uh, product inventory is, the longer this is going to take, but it should be only a few seconds. So for me, this has already been processed and now we can open the zip file. When opening up the zip file, you need to drag out the file and you will notice that it is actually a TSV file. So what we want to do is click on the file name and we want to change it from TSV to CSV. The reason is so that you can open it with a Google Sheet or a spreadsheet editor on your desktop device. So we click on yes and then we open up the file. The column that we want to copy is the ID. So we just click on copy, we highlight the whole column and click on copy. So what we want to do now is go to feeds and add a supplement feed. And I just call this reprocess because that's what we are doing. So just choose Google Sheets. We will generate a template. It actually technically does not create a template, even though it says it does. And uh, now we just choose our content API. We will select our account. And now we can see here is a reprocess. What we want to do is open the sheet and just paste in all our data. Make sure it is saved. There we go. Now we go back to Google Merchant Center. We click on reprocess or whatever the file, uh, the name that you've given, and then either click on fetch now here or fetch now uh, within the page itself. And then within a few seconds, this is reprocessed. Then the diagnostics tab will be updated within roughly half an hour. Uh, normally it can take 10 minutes or 15 minutes. It depends on how many products you have. The smaller your product inventory, the quicker it reprocesses it. And then uh, that is done. So that is actually how you reprocess a content API using a supplement feed. And it's useful for when you are um, applying feed rules so that the feed rules are applied immediately and that you don't have to wait too long for it. So that is how you do it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask uh, by leaving a comment in the description below. Thank you very much and see you in the next one.